Good morning, brothers and sisters. I just want to share something with you this morning. First Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18 says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you. I always hear people testify about answered prayers and what God would have done for them. They prayed for money, they received it. They prayed for healing, they received it. They prayed for a job and they, they got it and they are all excited. But what happens when God doesn't answer the way we expected him to? It was a couple years ago I wanted a job. I really needed some extra money. I had the qualifications. I had what it takes for that position and I did not get it. But I was transferred to another department. It wasn't until three months after mom died and it left me with two children for me to fend with on my own. I suddenly looked back and I remember God speaking to me. I remember my brother asking me how the interview went and I said surely God has been with me and this was after I knew that I didn't get the position I wanted and I said surely God has been with me and he couldn't understand why until the incident I realized that God didn't want me in that stressful situation I needed time to look after my children. I needed a more flexible job. I needed a job that I had more control over. And so I just want to thank God for not answering my prayer the way I had asked him. And this morning, brothers and sisters, I just want to remind you that in everything, give thanks because all things work together for good. God loves us. He knows what is best for us. He says if we as earthly parents know how to give good gifts to our children, how much more our Heavenly Father. So today, let us pray for increased faith. Let us ask God to deepen our trust in Him. And remember that with God, there are no disappointments. He allows everything for a reason and with our best interest in mind so the next time God doesn't answer the way we expected remember the text in everything give thanks God knows best do you trust him with your life I do have a wonderful day God bless.